Hello Pisces and welcome to Healing Dove Tarot. Pisces, we're going to have a look at the love energy surrounding you from the 21st to the 28th of December. Now this reading does um, overlap the most recent singles reading I did, which um, took the energies up until the 23rd okay but don't be too caught up in the dates they they swap over and intertwine um pisces it's really interesting energy so i'm going to get straight into it for you at the bottom of the deck you come in with the three of pentacles okay so i've talked a lot about clearing your energy release your past so you can stay in the present um and it's kind of the same theme for everyone right it's the cancer full moon closing out a cycle of this year for us and i think everyone's kind of hanging to get through it's been a very very challenging 2018 lots of um retrogrades and going back and revision and doing things so that we can be our best selves the three of pentacles speaks about teamwork collaboration working together what's really interesting as i sometimes do i like to look at the bottom and you have the ace of pentacles here as you're coming into this period so it's, it could be that you've been given a new opportunity at work and now you're working very hard. I picked up in the couples reading for Pisces that it's just a lot to do with career and work. And it doesn't surprise me because from an astrological point of view, Mars is in your sign. So it's very much about the, the focus is on career, but that doesn't mean that the focus can't be on love at the same time as well. Now, you start off this period with the Five of Wands coupled with the Ace of Wands, okay? So Five of Wands is kind of like an um, egocentric competition kind of energy. But coupled with the Ace of Wands, I feel it's like you're wanting to have a passionate new beginning with someone, but either you have a lot of options or I'm feeling like they have a lot of options and you have competition. You've been trying to manifest this new beginning, this passionate new beginning for some time, Pisces. And... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but I feel like you're in a little bit of limbo. It's like the universe is going, yeah, I know what you want, but you're not quite ready there yet. You've still got to do a little bit of work. And that work comes from um, releasing whatever it is from the past that you're still holding on to. Now, this is a general reading. It's not going to apply to everyone. But for some of you, the card of justice has come up and the hanged man and the four of swords now the four of swords can speak about mental energy and needing to you know mentally take a break out it can also speak about physical energy um, and needing to physically just take a break you know maybe um if you go to the gym a lot and you're a bit of a gym bunny maybe now's the time to just have a bit of a break from that and give yourself a rest because i think it's kind of blocking your energy it's it's keeping you in a state of limbo for some of you, it could be about healing from a marriage or a relationship that didn't go to plan. And the justice card speaks about a lawyer or some sort of legal representation. It's in the upright, so it's working in your favor. You might be trying to manifest a separation or a divorce and it's taking its sweet ass time in coming to you. Some of you could have a child. The Princess of Pentacles is here, a younger female, uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could have had that with your soulmate and... Uh, that's what this passionate beginning was and that's now ended for a very small number of you and I'm, I'm just going to say this very small okay some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant this week um, normally I look for other cards around to give me an indication of that but I'm, I'm being shown that quite clearly from my guides um, and then also in this picture she's uh, you can see she's with child carrying a child and the Ace of Wands is a phallic symbol um, that's, that represents that kind of new beginning. So just be careful if that's something, maybe you're not actually finding out this week, maybe you're falling this week, you're conceiving this week. So it is the Christmas period. Um, just be really careful if that's something that it, you're not wanting or you don't wanna have something that's unplanned, take all the precautions, okay? Yeah, but it's really, um, it's a week for you over this Christmas break as you're getting closer to the new year and we're closing out the end of this, this year, right? At this Cancer full moon, whatever's gone on for you since then. Um, it's really still about doing that last little bit of healing work from a soulmate that potentially hurt you or you hurt a soulmate or whatever and seeing things from a different perspective. Being able to have the clarity that you need to make a confirmed logical decision with both your head and your heart about your future and what it is that you really want to manifest now look i feel like a broken record because i know i've been saying that for you for a little while pisces but the truth is 
I need you to hear it, right? They keep telling me that you're not hearing it like you should. You're, you're not getting it like you should. Um, and, and that kind of feels like to me, like you think that you, you've done the healing work, right? And now you can manifest, but you can't jump ahead, right? Because if you do, whatever you try and grow, whatever you try and be fertile with, whatever new relationship, it's not going to work. No matter how great it seems in the beginning. Can I have some additional guidance for Pisces, please? Pisces singles in love from the 21st to the 28th. Thank you, Spirit. Eddie, are you there? Just one card. Last one for tonight. Two. Everyone's been getting two. Humorous. Um, you got three, actually, which is quite funny. So five of swords, win or lose, which is, you know, kind of aligned to that five of wands energy. Seek the truth, seven of swords, which doesn't surprise me. A lot of mental stuff. And then eight of wands. Perfect. So I'll take you on the journey through these. Win or lose, five of swords. So this is really that kind of um, winning, but at what cost, right? Disagreement, ego, detach, and love. Often in matters of the heart, people find themselves in disagreement, set against one another in a battle of wills. Ego takes place of intellect. Greed overtakes generosity. The love in the relationship is forgotten in the desire to win. But where there's a winner, there's also a loser. The partners are no longer equals and the relationship can falter or completely break down. At this time, be cautious about letting ego trick you into acting in your own self-interest, especially at someone else's expense. If another person is trying to provoke you, do your best to remain detached. Solve disagreements in a way that makes everyone a winner. I'm just going to leave this over here near that five of wands energy. Okay. Seven of Wands, seek the truth. Intuition, question, deception, inequality. Intuition is a powerful ally and now is a good time to follow and trust your inner promptings. It may be that all is not as it seems in one of or some of your relationships. Use your psychic senses to determine which of your associations may be questionable. Trust in what your intuition is saying right now. As much as you'd like to trust these people or this person, it's important to question their motives. Be cautious about sharing your most private thoughts and feelings in order to avoid allowing yourself to be placed in a vulnerable position. Be diligent in psychically scanning your interactions for possible deception. And this is what that hanged man is here for, right? It's like being able to see things clearly. It's really that week of um, getting clarity that you need, right? You're wanting to manifest, like I said, but you're trying to skip some steps. Eight of Wands. Success and growth. This is what's coming for you. Accomplishment, speed, resolution, progress. The energy of manifestation is around you now and you're being moved forward in a positive way. Stay focused on your heart. When this card appears, success is at hand and it may happen quickly. Your past efforts are being rewarded. This is a time of new flowering relationships and successful resolutions to conflict and struggle. So this is exactly what I was saying, right, Pisces? For those of you that have been trying to manifest this new partner, right? Because you do, that's two cards of manifestation, but you haven't yet quite done the work to kind of understand what roles you played in relationships this year, not working or not um, coming into fruition or breaking down those that have left marriages that have separated. Um, you know, it's time for you to actually seek the truth. There's always three sides to a story, right? There's your side, there's their side, and somewhere in the middle is the truth. That's what you're being called to, to ask to do right now is to find that truth, find the sword, the clarity, of the sword, the ace of swords. And then when you do that, that's when you can manifest this new love because it's here. The energy's here. It's waiting to come through. You just need to be present and do the work. All right, Pisces, big week for you. Um, I wish you all the very best doing the inner work. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.